what's up guys welcome to the part two of this retouching video so in the first part we um did our skin retouching uh even skin tones uh dodge and bone and also our skin softening and now in the part two of this video which is what you guys are watching right now <laughs> obviously we're going to be color grading this image and like i said in the first part I decided to make this as a separate video so I can show you guys the process in which you can use to get like really really nice melanin skin tone and I would also be putting the lots for this particular um, skin tone that would achieve in this video down in the description for anyone who just wants to like download that for free right and if you're just watching this particular video first I would advise you um watch the part one so you guys can see how we're able to um, get the image to the point where it is right now okay so before we get into today's video please do like this video subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below on what you think and something you'd like me to do next okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our curve adjustment layer and we're going to change the blend mode from normal to multiply right and as you guys can see the image is like really really dark and contrasty right now yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the opacity but we're not going to reduce the opacity too much because we're also going to create more adjustment layers i want to have room for like um corrections and like what i'm trying to say is we need to have room for like a range of how much melanin skin tone we want to have in the particular image so for this i'll probably take it to around say 50 all right so this is before after before after right now i'm going to open a, a black and white adjustment layer okay and I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply also, right? And as you guys can see, the image is like really, really dark. So again, we're going to reduce the opacity. Maybe this would go all the way to 35. Okay. And as you guys can see, we're already like having that melanin skin tone, right? We could even just like leave it like this and just like merge the two layers and like reduce the opacity and basically you already have like melanin skin tone so it's really nothing difficult you can do it this particular way there are other ways it can be done i'll probably do more tutorials on trying to achieve this um skin tone but what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to add um the photo filter adjustment layer All right and i'm going to change the filter from warm filter 85 to cooling filter 82 okay and now this introduces a lot of blues into the image right and i'm going to reduce the opacity of this just um, to 80 okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to group these layers right so this is the before after right so this is too much for us right so what we're going to do now is we're going to reduce the opacity of the group in general right until we reduce it to a point where we feel like okay this is good right so let's see what 35 looks like before after right um i'll probably take it up a bit 45 before after before after let's see 50 before after and as you guys can see basically i've color graded this image already because i really really like what it looks like right now and from this video you guys can see color grading doesn't have to be like one really difficult thing yeah for melanin skin tones you can basically just do what i just did 
you could also add more to it trust me you could even like play with your levels um you could play with like just play around with the sliders even with your color balance in fact let me just like let, let me just show you guys you can do it a lot more let me just add um the level adjustment layer to this right and let's ch also change this to um also to multiply and you guys can see it just had like this extra pop to it and maybe we'll leave it at 35 before after can you guys see that and merge and basically we have a really really nice melanin skin tone as you guys can see before after before after so there's really nothing to it so this particular one i just created now i am going to make a lot of this and i'll put a link in the description down below so everyone can download these lots okay guys so that brings us to the end of this video as you guys can see this is the before and this is the after and i am very very satisfied with what the image looks like right now okay so you guys should also like try your hands on um, one of your images and just play around with it and you know when you play around with something you get to learn more you get to understand it more right and you guys will get to see that color grading is not as difficult as a lot of people think so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like this video please do subscribe drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one